unlock your team super power it's not in your toolbox it's in your head i'm anush singla my co speaker nancy jens is not able to join just because of visa issue so today we will take a look about the psychological safety what is psychological safety like a workplace where everybody feel comfortable and what are the benefits what the team or the organization benefit from this so we will take a look about this it's yeah okay so who am i uh, i'm a principal software engineer 10 year of experience as a front end developer and apart from this i'm also learning salesforce and i'm also the open source contributor mostly uh, contribute on the pattern fly elements and i'm also like uh, when i get a free time then i mostly share my knowledge on the youtube uh, related to the just the front end okay so today uh, what is our agenda is uh, what is psychological safety research uh, there is one research is uh, done by google is project aristotle and what are the sign of low psychological safety and uh, measuring psycho safety at our work and impact of psycho safety and the performance standard and strategies to increase the psychological safety and individual role in psycho safety and misconception about psycho safety so we will take a look about all the things okay so now what is psychological safety uh, so this is definition by amy so she is a researcher and she did research on the psychological safety and she write a couple of books and if you would like to learn more about her you can just take a look so what is psychological safety is the belief that one will not be punished or humiliated for speaking up with idea so mostly the a workplace where everybody should feel comfortable share their ideas or if if anybody make the mistake then mistake will treat like a learning opportunity okay so that's that's a psychological safety and like the psychological safety will apply on every place it's not like it's on the office or the team it's also in your home or in your friends also because if when people are comfortable to speak up so that's a that's a meaning of psychological safety okay so uh, a project done by uh, this is a internal research done by the uh, by the google it's uh, the project name is project aristotle so they they were figuring out uh, what makes the team successful what what are the factor involved in that so uh, like the researcher did a couple of research and then uh, found it and they, they checked mostly around uh, as per the article they they checked on 180 teams did couple of survey interviews and around 250 uh, 250 attribute they found it and the most important things uh, they found is uh, like the team successful is how the team works as apart from like who are working in the team yeah definitely that is also very important who are working in the team but the most important part is how the team co collaborate how the team are working together that is the most important thing okay so uh, i i will give like i have give the link in the end of this article okay in this ppt okay so like from this uh, from this research they found five components so uh, first component they found is a psychological safety they five component they found is so first one is psychological safety so mostly the workplace where everybody feel comfortable collaborate mostly that's the most thing and dependability means being reliable like everybody depend on each other uh, each other work so it's our responsibility to deliver the work on time so that other people will also unblock and the structure and clarity so the team structure and the project clarity should be defined like the project deadline or the who are working on that part or who are responsible for that part so this factor makes the team successful and the meaning of work like the people should believe they are working on something important or uh, or they are passionate about their work it's not like this they are not passionate and we forcefully assign some work try like we should not do but sometime we have to do but sometime we don't know and the impact of work so they like the impact of work is like they believe that their work is very important and uh, they are working on something important so take example like uh, you are working on one project and they have around million of cust uh, million of customer and you make some something important so it makes the customer life easy or save the time so they believe that oh we are working on some important work and it makes the life easy for other other team members so these are the like the five factor uh, from this research they found it so these are very important yeah so like 
when you feel uh, like there is some psychological safety or the sign of psychological like low psychological safety so when when you feel like the silent in that in the meeting okay so some sometime the people uh, stay silent in the meeting they are not speaking up they know a um, couple of things but they are not able to speak up uh, because of like they they, they thought like uh, they, they 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 will not be listened about that things okay then that is a sign of low psychological safety or individual dominating the meeting okay so only two to three members are dominating like we have 10 10 teams and only two to three member are deciding uh, what they will do and all things then um, or making the decision other not take care about this so that is also the sign of low cycle safety and avoiding risk taking so sometime people uh, in the team they, they they don't do any uh, difficult work or they they try to avoid the any challenging work so that is also the sign of low cycle safety and hesitate to ask question or admit mistakes so sometimes uh, like the people uh, they, they express themselves they know everything like we are human we don't know like each and every part or they, they make mistake but they try to avoid that mistakes or they don't express whatever they are or they did wrong and all things so that is a sign of low psychological safety okay so now how how we can measure the psychological safety at, uh, at our work so like I, I take the screenshot from ME questionnaire, but like you, you can design as per you, as per your requirements. Okay. So uh, like um, this is a questionnaire or you can, you can make a one survey, create a one survey, like the Google form is the best way, but you can create it. There are nowadays, there are a couple of online platform also come up. Okay. So like you can ask multiple questions to your team, to your organization, you, you can check. Okay. Uh, either they are able to understand what is cyclo safety either they are, they are feeling comfortable in their team or not they can ask this you like when you are making surveys so you can ask these types of questions this is just an example but you should create as per your requirements and you can figure out okay so from the one like from one to five so strongly disagree to strongly agree so take an example like you have you are creating one survey and there are 10 questions and each question has 5 marks okay so suppose if you get the 40 or 40 to 50 marks then that is a good sign of cycle safety but apart from this you have to figure out maybe some question get the low marks okay one to two question get the low marks like people are not comfortable to speak up or their decision is not valued okay so that is the uh, that you have to take a look you have to discuss with the team or you have to understand with uh, concern of the team members why why they select the low and as a team you have to decide and then work on that part so this like this is the way you guys like uh, can measure the cycle of safety and apart from this like uh, there are 10 team member in the team okay so eight feel uh, they are good cycle of safety but maybe the two feel that there is no cycle of safety or the low cycle of safety then then the cycle of safety of the team is the least one because these two members are not fully cycle safe but as a leader or as a team member uh, like the leader can discuss with the uh, the like who feel low cycle of safety why you are not feeling is there any concern then work on that uh, as a team so that maybe if they are more comfortable then the cycle of safety definitely will increase okay so now the impact of cycle safety and the performance standard so this is the like two by two matrix and uh, they are like low to high cycle safety is the performance standard and here is the like the x axis y axis and low to high uh, psychological safety okay so there are four zone like you can fit anybody uh, either the organization either the individual or um, or like the team members uh, it's up to you so you can check in which zone you are as per the cycle safety and a performance standard. So suppose assume like apathy zone. Okay. So we are in the like in this zone, um, there is low cycle safety and the low performance standard. So in this zone, uh, people mostly do whatever they, they like to do. They don't do any challenging works. So take example, like there are some team member who, who are working on some spoon feeding. Like if whatever you tell, just they do that thing. They do, don't do any challenging works. They try to avoid any risk takings and try to save their self and don't maybe help others. So in this zone, people are mostly in the apathy zone and the comfort zone. In this zone, like the high cycle safety, but the low performance standard. So in this zone, people talk a lot, uh, discuss a lot, but they are not taking any risk taking 
or they are not doing any challenging work. So like when we are working on some project which has four to five year old project, that more, more stable and people like enjoying to work on this because there are no challenging work or they do their job very fast. Okay, so that is a comfort zone. Even like sometimes we ask from our friends, uh, oh, what are you doing? So, um, and they say, oh, we are doing just normal things. So sometimes we say, oh, are you in the comfort zone? Try to move and try to ch do some challenging work. So mostly we do these things. Okay, in the anxiety zone, anxiety zone is the, like the high performance standard, but the cyclo safety is low. So in this zone, mostly uh, like they, they have to do a lot of work, but in the low time, okay. So in this zone is the anxiety zone. In this zone, people have to do a lot of work in the last time and maybe sometime like, uh, take example like uh, we are working on some new projects, okay. In the starting we have to do a lot of setups and all things. So in this the people are more uh, like they have to do more work. So sometime if these things will go long around six, seven, seven months in this zone, people like feel stress, feel anxiety. So I think so like nobody should be in the anxiety zone, try to move on the learning zone, okay. So last one is the learning zone, that is very important. Everybody should be in the learning zone. In this zone like the high performance standard, high psychological safety. So people are do regularly some challenging work and they are able to speak up. If they make mistake, that is fine. Uh, means if they make any mistake, that things will take as a learning opportunity if they are not able to meet any deadline. But uh, like as a team, they should like discuss or oh, why we are not able to meet any uh, deadline. So as a team, nobody blame, but as a team, we can discuss. So everybody responsibility like should be in the learning zone. You can take a look like in which zone you are, uh, means either you in the apathy zone, anxiety or, so you can take a look uh, why with the help of this matrix. Okay, now, uh, so what are what should be our strategy to increase the cyclo safety in our in our team or okay so take example of this again the matrix so suppose people are in the apathy zone our target is to go into the learning zone so how we can do it so in this zone people are not taking risk so as a like leader uh, we should uh, discuss with or understand their concern if they are willing to do so we can provide some training and or discuss give some small small work so that they try to achieve it do some challenging work and then slowly slowly they can go in the learning zone something like this like we can do or if people are in the anxiety zone uh, try to like we can increase the psychological safety they can feel comfortable if they make any mistake miss any deadline they should not be blamed so in this zone in this way like we can try to go into the learning zone and comfort zone like we give some challenging work so directly like they will move on to the learning zone. So something like this like uh, be human uh, like the strategy should be like the be human means as a human uh, we are with some limitation if we make any mistakes de definitely discuss with the team or express if whatever you are what is your authenticity okay so express yourself so that each other like the it will make the team trust on each other and definitely it will help to increase the cycle of safety and treat mistakes as lessons. So like as I mentioned, uh, we are human with limitations, but we have to like if somebody make the mistake, definitely we should discuss as a team or as a lesson. So like in our team, we do the retro meeting after every sprint. So suppose uh, like w in this meeting, we discuss what went well, what didn't went well or what are the improvements we should do. So suppose if we make any mistakes, okay. So as a team, we, we get together and discuss oh, what went, what didn't went well, what should be our action item so that these things will not happen in the future. Or suppose if we make any mistake or our, we did some production push and some error has come, okay. So like we have to discuss as a team, nobody like start blaming, oh, you did these things, you did some wrong. As a team, like it's our responsibility as a team if something is wrong, it's team responsibility. So encourage new idea. Like the idea come from any place. Uh, it's not like this idea come from leadership or in the senior level, the idea come from junior level also. And it's also not important, every idea should be implemented. But like if we get some 10 to 20 idea, maybe one idea may be implemented. So as a team, uh, we should uh, discuss each and every idea. So 
ensure everyone voice is heard okay so it's also important like uh, in the team if you are discussing something so as a team we should uh, like everybody idea should be discussed right right now like we are exploring one uh, we are doing some poc on one project and as a team uh, we are get together and take a idea from everybody and we are also dividing the team in two parts do one part two one part one part one team the second part is second team and then after that we get together and discuss so in this way everybody will feel valued involved in the team so definitely it will helps to increase the cycle safety and establish team rules for kindness so it's like a like um, we should every team should have uh, their norms everybody should respect each other and like if somebody is speaking in the in the meeting don't cut and try to complete the first person then speak another person if in the like sometime the people uh, don't uh, take or don't work out of some office hour that is fine like respect each other so these types of way like we can help it will helps to increase the cycle safety maybe there are more points so this point i li like it that's why i just included in this ppt okay now what should be the like the role of each individual creating cycle of safety it's not like this it's a leader responsibility it's everybody responsibility in the team to create a cycle of safety so what i did is i i make a three uh, three person junior senior and leaders okay and i think so everybody is involved in in the meeting we have junior senior and leader so it's everybody responsibility but in a different way to create the cycle of safety in the team so like the like the junior responsibility is to learn the new things and growing fast and if they have any question ask from their senior and if they make any mistake just helps to or discuss with the team uh, how i can improve it and as a senior responsibility is to mentoring the juniors and try to get up some new new idea so that it it makes the, it helps the team okay so like uh, what i do as a senior uh, i give free hands to my juniors so do like suppose they have to work on some feature so i just tell them do whatever you want to do but from the top level i take care so that they don't do any mistakes or it will hurt or it will like go in the production okay i take care from the top but i give the free end so that they they think about this oh uh, i think so maybe like we are doing some one way maybe like the young generation maybe come up with some new idea so in this way i give the free hand okay and as a leader responsibility definitely uh, creating a workplace and nobody should be blamed and transparency what should be team is doing the clarity each and every responsibility transparency what's a company policy what the team policy so as a leader responsibility to explain each and everybody and if suppose if something is wrong the, so they can quickly discuss with the team or individually if somebody has any concern so discuss with the team so in this way like it's uh, everybody responsibility to create a cycle of safety in the team okay so now uh, we take a look about what cycle of safety and all things now there there are couple of misconception about the psychological safety okay so uh, like being nice all the time it's not like this cycle of safety means don't mean being all the nice like there sometime we have to do some difficult conversation also if something is wrong or they are doing regularly so as a team member we should uh, inform or we should discuss why these things are doing wrong or difficult conversation we have to do it's not like this all the time we are nice no we have to maintain cycle of safety we should be nice no it's not like this we should figure out we should decide or we should like do some conversation around that and avoid accountability so some people think like cycle safety means the low standards as i mentioned in the uh, like 2 by 2 matrix cycle safety means high standard high psychological safety okay so and relying solely on the leader so somebody uh, something uh, somebody think about cycle safety is the, the only the leader responsibility no it's everybody responsibility to to create the cycle safety because everybody work on the team and is working on a different parts okay so in this way it's everybody responsibility in the last slide i try to explain this part and it's a quick fix or one time effort so somebody also think oh we did um, we did some training or now we are thinking about this now it's done no it's a regular process and we have to regularly training regularly checking in the team either 
everybody should follow the norms everybody is taking care about or everybody feel comfortable to speak up nobody is blame in each or another so it's a regular process and we have to continuously do these things and prioritizing comfort zone comfort only okay so somebody think about this oh uh, cyclo safety means comfort uh, only the priority is the comfort no uh, as again i saw in the means cyclo safety means uh, come out from the comfort zone do some challenging works so yeah so okay and uh, these are the resources like which i gave you the project aristotle and the fearless organization book this is uh, written by ami so uh, i think so everybody should read i read one to two times it's very good book yeah. so question uh, so i hope uh, this uh, talk is helpful and at least like you are able to understand what's cycle safety now this is uh, near and dear to my heart as a manager. Um, one thing that I try to do on my team is encourage folks to learn in the open too, like be transparent that you're in that learning zone. Um, I, I recently had a new newer writer on my team who I, I could tell like they were very comfortable in like being transparent with their questions, asking, and, and then I had another writer who was kind of shy, right? Like that confidence just wasn't there just yet, right? Um, and, and by encouraging the person who was uh, comfortable with learning in the open to do so, like in our team chat and like in our team conversations and everything, the other individual actually picked up on it and was like, that's so great that they're doing this, like that, that was a really great to see them ask those questions. And so kind of as a leader, like encouraging folks yeah. to do the individual things yes, yes, yes. Um, because you know, it, it has that impact to, to bring up the whole team. Yeah. Um, so I guess in the opposite way, like if you, like how as a leader, if so, if you do identify um, that maybe someone's kind of pulling the team down, like how do you handle that? Okay. So kind of the opposite, like somebody might be like, um, yeah, like bringing down that psychological safety on the team. Like how, how would you handle that? Okay, you mean to say like if somebody is bringing down the team moral and all things, yeah. how we should handle them? Mm -hmm. Okay, so like uh, if I, uh, I'm a, like the developer, but if I am the leader, so firstly like I should discuss with, the, with them, uh, with that guy, why like you are not comfortable, uh, why you are trying these things and try to understand their concern and explain them, uh, oh, like we should maintain some norms, we should uh, respect each other, each other works. And the first thing is like understand their concern and try to explain them. If we are working as a team, we grow fast. Okay, it's not like uh, nowadays, like the, now the technology has come, so we have to work as a collaborative, as a team member. If we have to grow fast, definitely we have to work as a team. Individually we will not grow fast. So, uh, I think, or you can give some example also, like the very good uh, research by Google. So, like individual is good, like everybody has their responsibility, but the best part is like how we are contributing in the team. So if we explain them, uh, if they understand this part, as a team we can grow, I think so, uh, that may be helpful. And yeah, I hope this was it. Thank you. Hi, thanks. Um, okay, so we see the cultural aspect and the team environment aspect, but how do you see the more systems and structures like HR aspect of um, facilitating psychological safety and ensuring that there is some kind of you know process and system for it, not just the human factor? Sorry, could you please repeat again? I, didn't... Uh, I mean, you focus on the um, human and the atmosphere factor. Right. Right, right. How do you see the process factor or the uh, system, processes and systems to support psychological safety, whether HR or others? Okay, okay, okay. So, like, uh, I think so, uh, we should provide some resources. So, take an example of uh, somebody is not, uh, like, they are burned out or they are not mentally stable, right? So, as a, as a team or as a, like, HR, we should provide some team, like, every, every team or every organization have some uh, like we should uh, con we, we can discuss or oh, somebody is not feeling or somebody has health mentally health issue so they can consult uh, or there I think so the, every every organization have some consulting teams also so they can provide some resources or as a manager like they can give some break 
okay and maybe maybe if they are not comfortable in the team they can also change the role or uh, there in this way like um, everybody has their own responsibility like the first first person is like not mentally stable so they can firstly discuss with their manager or they can just give some uh, holiday or pto and then consult with some uh, resource or health guy so in this way like i think so that helpful i hope this was thank you yeah so uh, during your presentation you showed a uh, like a survey or a form yes uh, go forward this one keep going the other way yeah, yeah keep going yeah, yeah that one yeah uh, how often do you take this measure okay so like in in our uh, department okay recently uh, like uh, in our department uh, we have compulsory make there is one linkedin uh, linkedin course okay so in that course you uh, like as uh, like around in our department around 200 300 people come so it's our responsibility to uh, to complete that course and try to understand course after that like uh, like who are man, man, managing this psychological safety they did one survey and and they also gave the result so around 82% people feel uh, they understand what is psychological safety so in this way like recently we did it but i'm not able to share it because it's a company so i guess my question is do you do you take maybe monthly okay uh, measures to see if this improves no like as a team we didn't okay but in our department uh, somebody take this survey the, re the reason why i asked is i do a similar thing with, with my uh, i'm an engineering manager okay. i do a similar thing with my team where once per sprint we do a uh, retrospective mm -hmm. and we talk about uh, the things that worked and the things that didn't work and we, mm -hmm. have the yeah. we take a survey and discuss the results yeah yeah and usually it's in a, like in a Google form so that we can uh, you know, assign numbers to it. And we, t we do a very simple one, one, two, and three, because mm -hmm. when you have one through five, people yeah, spend yeah. too much time yeah, yeah. between one, is it one or two? And so we, you know, it's constant, uh, it's a recurring exercise where we mm -hmm. constantly measure the mode to make sure that the team maintains performance. And, mm -hmm. and if things are degrading, we can detect that and make corrections. Okay. Every sprint. Yeah. Okay, the retro meeting, right? Retro meeting you do, right? Every sprint. Like every sprint you do retro meeting after every sprint. Yeah. Yeah. So I think so most of the teams do retro meeting. So that's very important, uh, retro meeting, yeah. And we got a lot of improvements mostly. And as a team, uh, even uh, recently, like uh, in the Miro board, uh, we do some anomalies also, so that th you can just add your points. And um, like our program team or our manager, take a look. Maybe we have to do some improvements. Uh, do you think psychological safety uh, uh, as a concept aligns well to uh, less mission critical context than uh, let's say let's say let, let's go back to that uh, two by two grid let's say i'm running a company uh, of let's say i'm running an airline and the employees are all uh, pilots of passenger jets so how would you put someone uh, what kind of pilot would go in the learning zone I didn't. Could you please repeat again? So my question is, uh, does does this concept of psychological safety and its importance of interaction between team members over individual brilliance uh, play well in mission critical organizations like uh, cardiac surgeons or pilots or all, all those things? No, uh, I think so. It will not. Uh, why? Because if it will go in the like the aeroplane, okay the mistake will be very ha harmful, right? Maybe it will go with the death. So uh, like 200 or how many people in the uh, in the airplane? So that place, I think so, like the mistake will not be accepted. Mm -hmm. Or in the critical, like the uh, sur surgical, uh, like the, or in the surgeon, 
that place also like where the mission critical things the mistakes will not be accepted okay yeah see want to say something I'm trying to remember if it was Amy's book, but she actually, or somebody, it might have been Amy, um, does have a use case around pilots in particular and aircraft disasters and, and you know, um, that have happened because psychological safety wasn't there or, you know, maybe like some cultures don't, um, don't question authority or don't question that, that genius. Um, so they don't speak up. And there's there have been instances, um, and I, I'm forgetting I'm forgetting which airline actually went through specific training around psychological safety um, because it's it wasn't a part of their culture to question things. Um, there's an example of uh, of a uh, um, group of pilots who were flying and landing in LaGuardia, right in New York. New Yorkers are very direct. <laughs> New Yorkers are very, you know, they're just, they're, they're, they're direct, right? Um, and so uh, the pilots didn't want to, like, they didn't want to question what the air traffic controller was telling them. And so they circled and circled and circled the airport until they ran out of fuel. So the bad things happen in mission critical situations. And so, um, yeah, I think it's very important, like, having psychological safety on any team um, is really foundational to the success of that team. And it can have major consequences if people don't feel safe to make mistakes or to speak up. So it's interesting you brought up that use case because it is it is something that has been a problem in the past. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I, I agree that psychological safety is very important. And you know, in all the teams that I've been on, I try to foster an environment of psychological safety. Um, I, as you've been giving your talk, I've been trying to think, like, is it in fact an unqualified good? In other words, should we always just go for um, as much psychological safety as we can? Or is there some cost to it that I'm missing? Um, I can't think of any, but I wanted to hear your thoughts. Uh, the cost, I think, so. you mean to say, like, is there any cost link if we maintain the psychological safety, right? Well, yeah. Say, say I try to get as much psychological safety in my team as I can. I mean, am I, am I giving something up for that? Mm. Okay. Uh, I may not answer that, but I can share my perspective, uh, if that helps. Uh, so, I have seen similar situation wherein the cost to that is that uh, not a lot of people, not a lot of minds, even after giving all the psychological safety, operate in high performing standards because a lot of them are always target based. If you tell them to do this thing, they will do it. Uh, so I feel that if, if we focus a lot of things on psychological safety, there might be chances wherein we are not able to balance that sort of different mindset and different operating standards of people. That, but yeah, that's where we have to balance it out. Like, I mean, I, in my team, I try to, uh, a lot of people operate on psychological safe model. They are innovative, but a lot of them are not like that. But still, it's not that uh, you don't have to give them psychological safety. It's just that you have to understand how they will give the best outcome. Uh, it, it, it's an ongoing process that you will have to know and try out and do trial and erroring. So that's that's something I I am trying in my team. I don't know if that helps. Yeah, uh, the, in the back side also. Or you just, our last question, okay? That's a very interesting um, issue, you know, in a team. And I think that your question was very good because Personally, I think that you know there is a team, okay, and the team should have some kind of a standard. So after a few iterations, if someone does not perform, it happens. So we should know to say, okay, this is the limit. Okay, we, there are, there are, there are companies that they have a what it called a performance improvement process or something like that. But you know there is at the end if uh, we were speaking about someone that to. Um, uh, uh, 
take the, 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 the atmosphere down, is a downer from, from some kind of reason. Okay, so we, are, we can try to have some kind of crucial conversations and stuff like that. But you know, if, if it doesn't help, if it continues to work like that, so life are you know, not always to be good with everyone. Okay, we, we are a company and a group of people. Uh, that's what I think. That's my personal uh, opinion. Yeah. But it's very, it's very important. To be yeah. aware. It, it's, a, it's a, an issue of awareness of the group for so many things and the, the diversity of people and their stories, where they ca come from. So it's very important. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So if somebody is not performing well, so there are like uh, people, like we, we, go, we put in the performance and they have to like... Uh, they have to work on these things, yeah. If he had to come out from this. So definitely like the, we, as is, that is good, like we maintain a cycle safety, but the performance should be good. If not, then we have to maybe sometimes stick on that things. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.